we were standing outside of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee meeting. Uh, this is where Iraqi Prime Minister ha- uh, Haider al-Abadi is meeting with uh, with senators. Uh, this is uh, uh, over half an hour ago when we saw um, uh, promotion begin. Several uniformed uh, police officers uh, running through the hallways, speaking into their radios. We asked what was going on, and they said uh, we were told that a helicopter of indeterminate size has landed on the west part of the capital. Of course, this is highly unusual. This is restricted airspace. You need uh, special permission to fly in this area. They did not know why this person had landed an aircraft on the west front, and so that was the motion that was going on. Uh, after a few minutes, uh, uh, the, the situation was under control. Police ran over to the man, uh, got brought him into custody. He's now undergoing questioning. They're, they're trying to figure out uh, uh, why he decided to land here, if there was some sort of mechanical issue. Uh, but I'm told by the Senate Sergeant at Arms here that the situation is under control. The man is no threat. Uh, but there was a good deal of motion, as you can imagine, earlier with folks around here not knowing uh, why the person had landed. There was discussion amongst police about a lockdown. So the capital was briefly locked down, but it's not evacuated. There was also discussion among uh, the security outside of this uh, meeting where the prime minister is about how to possibly get the Iraqi prime minister out of the building in a safe way if that had been necessary. Uh, but in the end, after a few minutes, uh, the man who landed on what police here are calling a gyrocopter um, has been taken into custody for questioning.